We have been exploring Copenhagen and seeing all of its beauty, but now it's time to taste all of the delicious food that there is here. And we might have taken a small detour along the way. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny and this is my husband, Jacob. We quit our jobs one year ago to travel the world full time and bring you along for the ride with us. We are at a bakery here in Fredericksburg with our friend Sophia and we're getting a lot of pastries and coffee and she's gonna explain all of it. We wanted to get traditional Danish danishes and these were the most popular pastries that are sold here. Hi guys! I am, as you know, from Denmark, from Copenhagen, and I'm here to show you guys a little bit about our pastries, and yeah. So, this is called a Knicks knife, and what is very good about it, it's super tasty, super flavored, um, it has a lot of cinnamon, um, chocolate as well, and you can actually get this kind of pastry with different flavors, but we chose the cinnamon. All right, we're trying the first one. It kind of looks like a cinnamon roll a little bit. Mm. It's so good. It's really flaky on the outside and it's not too sweet. It's perfect and it has like, it does taste a little bit like a cinnamon roll but more flaky, which I really like. Oh wow. It does kind of taste like a cinnamon roll. And then this is our special one because of the season. This is our Jule <laughs> And it has a chocolate flavor and um, cinnamon and almond. Now we're trying the Christmas one. <laughs> Christmas one. <laughs> <laughs> we will save the most popular one for last. This one has chocolate and almonds on top. Is there anything in the middle? Mm, actually, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Not that much of flavor, right? Yeah, not that much. There's yeah? a lot of bread, but... Ooh, there is something in the it middle. It is hollow inside, oh, but there is oh. there is some flavor on like the bottom huh. right there. They surprised you, huh? Hmm. Hard for me to describe. Maybe it's like apple? Really? Maybe. Apple with chocolate? <laughs> Tastes good. Let's see if I can figure out what the apple is. I don't know. I don't think it's apple. Do you like it though? It's good. It's very like, the texture is really nice. It's not flaky, but it's like very soft. Mmm. The chocolate is very good and the almonds. And then here we have the tea uh, biagis. And actually it's kind of hard to explain like the flavor behind it, but it has like this caramel flavor. Now we're trying the famous one. What's it called again? Tapeagis. It's so different. Yeah, right? There's like a poppy seeds on top. Mm-hmm. It's not very sweet. Yeah. But it's, it's really... It's very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. It's like yeah. almost like a crispier croissant, like a little mm. bit sweeter with poppy seeds on it. Like that's what I feel like it tastes like. <laughs> would you actually dip it in the coffee? Yeah, I think yeah. that would actually be very yeah. good together. That's yeah. what a lot of Danish people Maybe I'll of. do it. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. Mmm! Yeah. That's butter. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, the coffee definitely makes it taste better. How do you feel after eating all the pastries? Were they good? <laughs> they were Is good. How you expected it? Yeah, yeah, well, actually, completely different than what I expected. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it, it was good. I know that, like, it's not that typical to have, like, sugary, like, things for, for breakfast, but I actually mm -hmm. really liked it. Yeah? I liked it. Well, you're not done yet because the cute <laughs> lady here that works here, she gave us our honey cake. And that's very uh, popular to eat um, okay. <laughs> during Christmas. Um, okay. It's a little cute heart. It's so Do cute. They sell it? Do they sell it all year round or just during Christmas? No, just during Christmas. Yeah. Okay. And um, I personally, I gotta be honest, I don't like it as much because the because of the flavor. It's honey. And um, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of it. Let's see if he likes it. Alright. <laughs> hmm. So I thought it would be like a cookie, but is that what it's supposed to be like? Or? 
A cake. A cake. A cake. Okay. Oh yeah. I like it. <laughs> I think too? I like some of these better than yeah. this one, but it's still like. But this I, is a cake, good. and that's yeah. pastry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not for me. The texture is very good. It's like really spongy and soft. I like that. Now that I'm chewing it, I don't hate it as much. It's good. It's just not maybe my favorite. It tastes exactly like gingerbread. Like it's like very, very soft gingerbread with frosting on it. So it's not, if you like gingerbread, you would definitely like it. I don't love gingerbread though. So I didn't like it. We're gonna be here for a little bit and then we'll be back to the food tour. We're taking a quick detour to the Fredericksburg Garden and the most notable thing about this place is that the zoo is right next door so you can actually see the elephants inside the gardens. I'm so excited! <laughs> Sophia, is that the most notable thing? The best thing about this is the elephants? I, it's part of it, but I would say it's also the history behind it, the fact that our king in the past used to live at the castle here. I'm also really excited because they have a castle in here. So elephants and castle, very exciting. We have made it to the castle where Frederick lived back in the 1700s, the king of Denmark. This place is massive and I love that it's yellow. That's just like such a fun little pop of color in the grounds. The Fredericksburg Gardens are so beautiful. I just love picturing it when the king lived here and this was like his area where he could just like do his thing and it's so pretty. It like feels like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> I don't know what this building is, but it's cute. But is that building as cute as the flamingos? You tell me. I don't think it's as cute as the flamingos. The flamingos are pretty cute. But will the elephants be cuter? Probably. It's fun we can like go to the zoo without actually entering. The elephants are out! Okay, let's go see them. This is so cool. Falling down the hill. <laughs> the baby's falling oh down the hill. <laughs> this is so fun. I love that you can just see the elephants in the gardens. What? This is so cool. I love it so much. I just want to go to Africa now. Okay, let's go to Africa, Jacob, right now. Okay. <laughs> I'll go book the flight. Okay, deal. <laughs> Fredericksburg Gardens has just been a wonderful place to spend some time walking off the danishes that we ate earlier today. There's so much to see here. Wow, okay, now we're going on to our next food place. I really didn't think that we would be eating so many hot dogs, but everyone is telling us that the Danish hot dog is very, very popular and it dates back a long time and they said that the ones in Iceland actually came from the ones in Denmark, so we have to try them. looks good. This is the reset hot dog. Okay, we have a very long dog here with a shorter bun. That's what we've noticed from all of these hot dog places. That's how they make it. There's pickles on top. Looks like maybe some ketchup. This might be mustard or it might be a uh, remoulade. And then we have the crispy onions and there's also raw onions too. The first bite might just be the hot dog. Oh wow, why is it so good? I mean, it's just a hot dog. Hot dogs in the United States are something that's like so cheap. You only get it if you have no money for anything else. But 
Why does this taste so good here? I'm so excited. Jacob made this sound so good. He said there's spicy mustard, just how I like it. Mmm. I'm in for any hot dog with pickles on it. Now we're getting on the metro to go to a food market. Tall Helen. Yeah, that. <laughs> We've made it to the food market! We are trying a little Danish cheese. Ooh, it tastes a lot like creamy white cheddar. It's like a lot softer, but really good. That's all one fish. When we walked into this market, I definitely got a huge smell of the fish and the meat that was here. And the fish, the fish are so huge here. And there's just so much meat that you could just buy, take home and cook for yourself. And we're trying smoreboard right now. All of these s'more boards, everything that we could order here is very Danish, so we'll just choose the one that looks the best for us. I think we're gonna go with the smoked salmon. Hi, can you get uh, one uh, smoked salmon? Yeah, anything else? Uh, that's everything. Okay, wow, thank you. <laughs> this is where we got the food. They specialize in s'more board, so it's the perfect place for us. They also have many other options here just all the different things on the bread. We have expensive taste. This one was about $16 just for this one piece, but it was almost the most expensive thing on the menu. It has salmon, let's see what else. Salmon, horseradish salad, horseradish, cucumber, herbs on white bread. This is what I have been thinking about ever since we got off the plane in Denmark. Immediately, Sophia and her mom both told us that this is like the most traditional, delicious thing that we could get here, and we're finally getting to try it. Mmm, the salmon is so fresh. It doesn't have the fishy taste at all. It is just like, it just tastes like salmon without the fishy aftertaste. It's delicious. Okay, it looks so good. The salmon is just so amazing. I mean, it makes sense. We're in a nice area where you can get really fresh fish, fresh meat. Just everything here looks so good. So of course this place was gonna be amazing. This is called Wopa. That's like our famous um, kind of bread. You, in English, you call it uh, rye bread. Now we're trying a little piece of the rye bread. Mm. Oh, it's very like grainy. Mm, it's really good. I think this maybe is the best rye bread I've ever had. We stopped at a little flower market and it is so cute and it smells so good in here. The best thing in Copenhagen. <laughs> the best thing in Copenhagen. Uh, okay, so these are flutballers. I think my pronunciation is pretty close, even though it's not correct. What we have here is chocolate with marshmallow on the inside. And uh, we've already had a couple, so we know they're really good. It was great getting to walk around Copenhagen with a local, getting to go to some of the places that we might not have found if we were just by ourselves. It was such a fun day with a lot of good food, and we'll see you in the next video.